Alright, what's up YouTube? So today I've spent my day kind of organizing my garage, getting it better, but I just got this. I just got this quarter cable 15 amp, 14 inch chop saw. I got it on Amazon. It is the cheapest one I could find. It was $93. That's cheaper than a drill master one at Harbor Freight. As far as I'm concerned, Porta Cable has been a good brand. It's had some good reviews. So I'm going to unbox this thing, try it out for some cuts. Then I'll probably make a review video in a year or so, show you how it's really been. But for 90 bucks, I said, what the heck, I'll give them a shot. Let's see how this thing's got. Here. Well, I just cut right through that, opening it up. Make sure I got everything out of the box. As far as I'm concerned, I did. So my first, just by looking at it right away, it's, not, it's pretty heavy, it feels well built. I like this little thing, keep my Allen key there, assuming that's from taking the blade on and off. Actually feels like a pretty high quality power cable, I think that's 8 feet long. Oh yeah, that's nice. So I've actually never used one of these things before, believe it or not. It's set to zero degrees. Does it look to be exactly zero? I don't think so. It doesn't quite look to be square right out of the box, but that's fine. Yeah, that tight though, holy cow. All right, so I can already say it's a little bit of a pain to adjust this. So I'm looking at this, we've got a blade lock here that really grabs nice. Like I said, I've never used one of these things before, so I don't know too much about them, but I know a lot of the angle grinders, some of the cheaper ones have blade locks that don't lock the blade well at all. Looks like you can move this back. So that's kind of interesting, that's kind of cool, I guess if you're going to cut something real big. I think it's going to be fine for where it is right now. Alright, so I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put this thing yet, but right now I'm going to put it right here. And uh, look at that, it works just right away. I got this pretty beefy piece, I think that's quarter inch angle. about two minutes to cut. I don't know what happened when I was first start cutting it felt like it was taking a really long time and then about halfway through it went and it just started cutting real fast. Actually pretty pretty decent quality cut right there. Gotta say. Um, this is not perfectly square but let me try it if I go this way with it. See how this works. Okay. Well, I gotta say, it cuts pretty well for how much it paid. I paid for it. Let's try one more cut. I'm going to say right there is not the way to cut angle iron, not with this saw in particular at least, because that's taken a really long time and it's not cutting that well. But 
I also can't imagine that this blade that it came with is all that great. So I also bought this DeWalt blade right here. And I'm actually going to put this blade on right now and see how this works. Because this blade was like $8. That's not bad. Or abrasive wheel. I'm sorry. It's not called a blade, I don't think. Let's see. Blade change. Also uses this Allen key. I got to say, I like this Allen key. It's nice and heavy duty. It's always nice when a tool brand uses something that seems like it's going to last a while. For such a cheap saw, I've got to say I'm real impressed. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right back, making that same cut, see how it does. I like this little, this little tool holder a lot. Some people are like, oh, I'm not going to lose it, but me, I'm probably going to lose it. Right there, I'm never going to lose it. I like that. It's a cool feature. Nice and simple. Cool. That blade cuts a hundred times better. Let's try a full cut with it. And the cut quality on that. Much, much better. Look how much more square that looks. Let's put a square on it just to see. That's pretty darn good. Is it absolutely perfect? No. But I'm not even sure I set up the saw 100% perfectly square. That's pretty darn good though. I'm real happy with that. One thing I'm definitely going to have to do here is put like a nice big piece of metal behind this thing. It's probably not going to stay where it is right now. But they even got this little thing right here that catches a lot of that slag actually. That's pretty cool. On the box it says three year limited warranty, 90 day money back guarantee, one year of free service. So that's pretty cool. A lot of these things you actually have to keep the box. You have to show the box to prove it. But I just cut this piece out so if I, in case I ever need it, I got that. What would I say about this Porter Cable 14 inch saw? Right off the bat, I'm stoked to have this thing. This is a cool tool for $93. I paid an extra six or $7 for the DeWalt cut off of this. I would really recommend that. This one's not that great, but it came with the tool. So some of these grinders and stuff, like angle grinders, don't even come with the disc at all. So the fact that it even came with one is awesome. But I would recommend spending the extra couple dollars, spend a hundred bucks, you've got yourself a nice little tool here. I'm so happy to have one of these. I've wanted one for a long time. And uh, I got a lot of projects coming up. And I got a new welder on the way that'll be here real soon. So I had to have this with it so I could make good cuts. and. I'm, I'm real excited about this thing. Like I said, I'll make another review video of it, maybe six months or a year when it's gotten a ton of use so we can see how it's held up. But overall, right off the bat, I'm happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. Go ahead and comment, tell me what you think. If you have one of these saws, tell me what you think of it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll have a new video up next week.